Glass workers made ring-shaped decanters as early as the Roman period. Due to their novel shape, much like buoys, the personal flotation devices carried on ships, decanters in the early 20th century were called life buoy decanters. This example, decorated with silver overlay, is by the Pearpoint Company of New Bedford, Massachusetts. A thick bubble of blue glass is flattened with a tool. After reheating, a pair of pincers or tweezers are used to drill a hole through the flattened part of the bubble. The repeated reheating and tooling with the tweezers, accompanied by blowing, is used to make the hole larger and larger. Next, the neck is formed. The jacks are used to pull the vessel body away from the blowpipe. Doing this distorts the shape of the vessel body and it has to be reinforced occasionally. After the neck is formed, a constriction is created very close to the blowpipe. This is where the vessel will be broken free of the blowpipe. The bottom is flattened. And the vessel is transferred to the punty. After reheating, the rim is tooled to create its final shape. <laughs> 